Hello YouTube. In the Soviet Union, extrasensory perception and similar phenomena were treated somewhat skeptically, at least officially. Nevertheless, this phenomena have been studied. Ninel Kulagina from Leningrad became one of the objects of specialist research. A former frontline soldier, Ninel Sergeyevna Kulagina, her name, maiden name was Mikhailova. She had a heroic biography. In April 1942, a young girl volunteered for the front to be uh, at the front line to join the battles. She served as a radio operator in the tank forces. She received combat wounds and earned the Order of the Patriotic War of the First Degree and numerous medals. Even in her early youth, Nelly, as she was called by the family, showed amazing abilities. For example, she moved various objects with her eyes, slices of bread on the table, a carafe of water. She also managed to control the clock pendulum from a distance. However, only a narrow family circle knew about it. Ninel Sergeyevna herself did not attach much importance to her abilities for a long time. She got married, she had a son, lived like everyone else. Once, already in the early 1960s, she had a heart attack. In the hospital, Kulagina brightened up boredom by knitting, and somehow the nurse noticed that the patient was taking balls of wool from the basket without looking. She didn't have to look to pick up a ball of certain color. Experiments under the supervision of the KGB. Later, someone introduced Kulagina to Professor Vasiliev, who investigated the mysterious phenomena of the human psyche. Vasiliev conducted a number of experiments with her, during which it turned out that she could not only move objects with her eyes, but also read other people's thoughts, see with the back of her head, as well as impact or affect operation of technical devices, and even change the chemical composition of water. The maximum distance of this impact was two meters. Since then, Kulagina has it constantly participated in various scientific experiments. Some sources indicate that she was allegedly summoned to the KGB where she was given a condition. Either she cooperates with the office, so to say, uh, with the agency, or she will go to trial on a fabricated case. Of course, Ninel Sergeyevna agreed to everything. She was given the pseudonym of ne Nelly Mikhailova. In particular, Kulagina was studied by employees of the Leningrad Institute of the Precision Mechanics and Optics. Uh, for several years, they conducted experiments during which she in extinguished the laser beam, moved various objects, and burned holes in them with her eyes, illuminated the film, and made the magnetic needle rotate, separated the egg white from the yolk in the water, and even stopped the frog's heart. Its capabilities were, I mean, the capabilities were studied with the help of devices that register the magnetic field emanating from Kulagina's hands. By the way, during the experiments, sparks with a diameter of up to 10 centimeters sometimes flew from the palm, palms of Ninel Sergeyevna. In 1977, Kulagina was invited to take part in the research program of the Institute of Chemical Physics of the USSR Academy of Sciences. This time they tested her healing abilities. At the first stage, the researchers took a dozen white mice and inoculated them with a subcutaneous hematoma. Then five of them were transplanted into a glass vessel, which Kulagina irradiated with a um, biological field for sev several seconds. After a quarter of an hour, the experiment was repeated. Rodents exposed to Kulagina lived for more than 10 days, while the rest died just half an hour after they were vaccinated. At the second stage, the mice received a dose of radiation exposure, 700 x-rays. After that, Kulagina began to work with some of the rodents, and again, the mice irradiated by, by it were able to live uh, for about 10 days, and the rodents from the control group um, grabbing the dose lasted no more than 15 minutes. 
Consequently, Kulagina was entrusted with the treatment of people. It turned out that it that uh, she can, through the field, contribute to the rapid healing of wounds and cuts of patients, improve the condition of those suffering from various types of inflammation, certain diseases of internal organs, migraines, and radiculitis. However, the experiments had a negative impact on the health of Ninel Sergeyevna Kulagina. Longest strenuous experiments led to a sharp deterioration in her well-being. She had symptoms such as fatigue, dizziness, increased pulse rate up to 240 beats per minute, pain in the back of her head and spine, a metallic taste appeared in her mouth. Sometimes she experienced bouts of nausea, turning into vomiting. Medical examinations after the experiments recorded an increase in her blood sugar level, weight loss reaching up to 700 grams per day. Well, was she a phenomenon or a charlatan? The research was not advertised. Basically, only specialists knew about Kulagina. It was only during the perestroika policies of Gorbachev that a black and white documentary shot back in 1968 was released on the screen, so you're looking 20 years later, in which the psychic demonstrated how she managed to move small objects with the help of hand passes and rotate the arrows of magnetic devices. The press media began to write about Kulagina, TV shows were made about her, but many did not believe in her abilities, they considered her a clever con artist. For example, academician Alexei Ivanitsky claimed that Kulagina moves objects using nylon threads and the errors of the devices uh, by means of a magnet attached to the finger. Together with her husband, she passed many tests. For 20 years, the couple visited about three, 30, sorry, 30 different scientific laboratories in state institutions, and many of them, the attitude to, toward Kulagina was, to put it mildly, very skeptical. The researchers stated that they would uncover a cleverly arranged deception and bring her to the surface. In 1988, a Soviet magazine Chilovek is a con called Ninel Sergeyevna Kulagina a charlatan. Well, Ninel Sergeyevna was forced to go to court. In favor of her honesty, facts recorded by the Academy of Sciences were cited, but the witnesses to the use of curved mirrors and magnets were not found. Okay, so they couldn't prove their case. Kulagina won the court case, but the, pro you know, the, the, the process seriously undermined her already poor health. Ninel Sergeyevna Kulagina died before the age, before reaching the age of 65 in the year of 1990. Today, in Russia, they continue to write and argue about Kulagina, uh, but the phenomenon of this woman has remained unsolved as is the phenomenon, for example, of animal telepathy research in the Soviet Russia and before it became Soviet, and I will talk about it in the future as well. Um, so if you like my research, please support me. Uh, you will find the links in the description to this video. Please subscribe to my channel and please tell others. Thank you.